very slow because if you rush this you're gonna break your entire window so it will take several cuts to make sure that you pierce every part of the foam board even flip it over and cut through it again very gently because if you don't do this guys you simply cut it and then simply softly press down and voila here we go <coughs> we have our window and we are now going to glue our window inside the RV like so simply press it against it so that the glue can take to the foam board maybe even put, gonna put some more extra on here also seals this because my glue gun is very hot and it's starting to melt the foam but we'll get there voila see okay now take some cardstock again and measure six centimeters this time you're gonna measure this time six centimeters by two centimeters very important by two centimeters and mark the halfway point so mark one centimeter okay Simply cut that out. Now the halfway point, <coughs> simply score it. Don't cut through it. Just gently, very softly score the center line. It will make it easier. <laughs> well, you gotta score it a little bit deeper than I just did, of course. What you get sometimes from being too careful, but yeah, voila, that it folds over nicely. That you will end up with this L shape. This will be for this part right here. See again, good old Mr. Hot Glue, put it on the inside. Stick it there like this. Fiddle with it a little bit till you get it where you want it to to be. Voila! See, starting to look like the front of Dale's RV. Okay, continuing on, we're going to be doing the back side. And I have a reference picture of the back side. So, I'll set this aside. Again, we're going to be measuring this part. So, it is six, six, centi six centimeters by two and a half centimeters again. Voila, there we have a rectangle that is six centimeters by two and a half. Which will go to our back here. You can peel off the paper but I'm not gonna do that because there are no details I need to draw in there so I'm simply taking my glue gun squirting it on the edges again like so I'm 
and you're going to be sticking it down. Nothing to it. Now, again, same with the cardstock. You're going to be making the trunk piece to put here. Okay? So we shall be measuring. Uh, one centimeter and one centimeter and four. Okay? One centimeter and four inches. So we take some more cardstock. Measure six, always a six centimeter for the white parts. So six centimeters and one less than a centimeter and a half. It's, I know it's a weird measurement, but well, <laughs> that's what it is. Can go, of course, you can go uh, with one and a half, and everything that sticks out, just simply snip it off or lob it off at the end. Uh, so, yeah, Not pausing the video, simply continuing now. Always dry fit. even a little bit too long so I'm gonna have to cut off a little bit okay so I'm putting my hot glue down putting it directly on the RV now take my piece and stick it down as you can see I have a little bit of an overlap but when the glue has dried I'm simply taking my scissors to it and that cleans that right up. Yeah, and the back is starting to look like this. So quickly take my scissors. Voila, perfect fit. Now we're gonna be doing the same again, five centimeters again this time with the foam board for our back window. And our back window looks like this. So I will be drawing that out now. Same deal as with the front window, I drew a rectangle in the rectangle, it is 5 cm by 1.5 cm, remember that, and leave about yeah, half a centimeter left, and we're going to be cutting out the front piece, same deal as before, make sure you cut through it many times, that nothing remains on the other side of paper, otherwise you're going to tear your entire piece to shreds also my knife is getting dull and that's not really helping matters either but yeah we'll see how we can cope by fixing this okay flip it around I'll be back when I've done this okay so I managed to do it without destroying it completely, but the first one I kind of killed. So as I said, it's a very tricky process this one, guys. Um, yeah, more hot glue to the sides here. And up here, like this. it a little bit so it holds in place wow there we go the back window now we're gonna do the same <coughs> excuse me cardstock technique for the top part here and that will complete uh, most of our skeleton. I'm gonna put some extra hot glue inside here. Do some 
more stuff to smear it out. Just give it some extra reinforcement. There we go. Okay. Now, I'm gonna measure this. And it is one centimeter. So we need a piece of cardstock by six centimeters with one centimeter. So the rectangle of six centimeters by one centimeter take it put glue on the side then again and again stick it down like this I'm gonna put some more uh, cardstock inside to fill this up. Take one of this, or I'm just gonna measure it by hand. Like this. Just to give something that covers up this window frame here. See? That's what I'm gonna do now. Put my grab my glue gun and I'm gonna glue that on there. So I did this off camera, but I forgot to press record. But yeah, I've glued this piece down. It is five centimeters by one centimeter and glued it inside here, so it will uh, close up the gap you had here. Voila. So that is basically our skeleton of our RV. The first part of it. Now, of course, there are more things to it, more details, which we are going to be doing now. Now, I cut out a rectangle that is one centimeter and about six centimeters and a little over six centimeters because this will be our bumper, which will we will we be gluing here. Damn my English, sorry guys. I am. I'm gonna peel the paper of this just simply because it gives a more dented look and yeah I'll be back when that is done by the way make two of these one for the front one for the back okay once you you've gone you've done both of them <coughs> excuse me take your glue gun put a little bit of hot glue at the center Stick this down underneath the final grill, like so. See? Make sure it is level and that on each side it is the same. And simply do the same for the back as well. The back you can simply just don't have to be as cautious as on the front. There we go. Okay, so my camera died on me. <clears throat> uh, what I do? What did I do? I took some uh, simple cardstock and glued two pieces together, and it's for this spot here. I simply measured it out took two pieces of cardstock and glued them on top of each other with simply with a glue stick and this will be gluing here and I also glued, uh, took a single part and that we will be gluing here on the side of the door <clears throat> now for this I'm simply gonna take my white glue smear it out Stick it down, same here, I'm using way too much here, but no. smear a little bit away, there we go, see, some 
3D <coughs> effects of the of those things. Now also as you can see on the back he has this uh, thing here. Oh by the way I cut off a piece of the front bumper because it was sticking to the floor. It was a little too high so I cut a piece of the bumper so you just gotta have to eyeball it and glue the back bumper down as well. Now as the loading thing on the back I took a piece of foam board simply measured a rectangle and now we have to do is glue this on the back you can also do this with white glue because the paper is still on it and it will adhere to it rather quickly you can of course always use the hot glue wow see very nice okay gotta be careful not to rub these things away now for the tail lights and everything simply take some cardstock and cut out two small squares again white glue drop here a drop here take your square stick it down Same with the other one, make sure they do align. That's why maybe for this it is better to use the white glue because you can still fidget with it and move it around. As with the hot glue, when you stick it down wrong, this won't be coming off anymore. Wow, see? Tail lights. Now uh, he has those um, a few lights on the back here, so I'm gonna be gluing them with some beads. I'm taking these very tiny things that probably you won't even see decently. They're very tiny. Now apply these with the white glue, not the hot glue, because. You can also use goop if you have it. I have it somewhere, but <coughs> sorry for not talking, but this is a uh, to focus on what I'm doing. See, just glue these on with the white glue like this. It's a nice detail to it. <coughs> Well, yeah, that is dry. Next up, you're going to be needing toothpicks. So, grab yourself some toothpicks. This will be for jabbing inside of the window. And yes, be very careful. You don't need to use glue, just simply stick them down like this. See? You can snip off the top parts and you will have a few things sticking out. Just press them down further. See? Now do the same for this side as well. Try to be as even as you can that they line up with the other side and try not to damage <coughs> too much of the work you put in okay. there we go There we go, looking nice. Now, I will uh, film this because I have the reference picture here so you can see where I'm jabbing in my uh, 
my two picks of the window frames and this one is simply at the center same here simply at the center there we go also again step off press down as for the front the door they are a little bit to the back here so do that as well make sure they line up back he has um, doubles but I'm not going to be doing the back side because this is a little too fragile or well the hell with it I'm gonna try but uh, as you know we've put this protective thing over here so I'm gonna have to do it from the inside so the best thing to do is simply take one of those points cutoffs of cuts try to jab it in here like so see okay I'm gonna have uh, with the cardstock I am gonna make a frame to cover these uh, openings so I'm gonna do that now just a few Roughly mark out where your window is. You can cut that out. I'm gonna do that right now. Also, a delicate process to do this, but as you can see, it fits nicely. Now, take your pencil, mark the edge. Nice clean cut. Use white glue because it's cardstock and it will glue down and it will also give strength. It will dry clear so it will also give some extra strength to this. There we go. See? Very nice. <clears throat> As you can see, our RV is taking a rather nice shape. There are more details to be done. You could actually do that for the front of the window as well, but I'm not going to do that. Now, continuing on, Dale also has these ventilation uh, holes here. So, again, piece of cardstock, one centimeter, maybe even cut it down a little bit just eyeball that to the this is about two centimeters in length and one centimeter in height so I will be gluing that down as well one here one this one panel above the front passenger side window so I'll be gluing that down and then there is one here Okay, moving on. If you have these, these are perfect. These are rectangular barbecue skewers. As you can see, they are 
flat but rectangle rectangles so we're gonna be measuring to the top here to the bottom here and you're gonna need two pieces again it's wood use the white glue won't take long to stick and stick that next to the door like so see take the other piece and that is for here I went ahead and cut the second part this will be glued next to the the loading container here stick that down see it will end up looking like this then you're also gonna need a barbecue skewer but the rounded ones see Actually scratch that, take a piece of uh, those paper drinking straws. We're going to be gluing that on top here. So measure it between the two beams. Mark it. And cut it. See? This will be glued here you can use a <coughs> you can also use the white glue for this of course which I'm gonna do now just make sure when you glue this on that you don't uh, exceed the place where the roof is okay so align it with the roof hold it in place a little bit so it can dry I'm gonna reinforce the top with more white glue of cardstock to secure it out there we go At the moment we're gonna have to stop for a while and let this dry first because it's white glue. Now for uh, some details what I did, I took some of those, uh, <coughs> it's from a bead set I have, those little pipes, they're hollow, they're small, I use them for my uh, door frames, uh, for my doors and everything, and glue two in the back. If you don't have that you can draw them in or use something similar, but I had these so uh, figured I might as well use it. Also if you have these, those, I don't know what they are called, they uh, kind of shimmer around it. I'm gonna be gluing them here where my headlights are. So it is Use white glue because it is a little tricky. See? I'm gluing them here. And I'm also going to be gluing two of them on the back. Don't need too much glue. 
just gives that a little bit more of a three-dimensional uh, feel to it. There we go. See? Nice. Okay. Now, as you remember, Dale's RV has the outlet here. We drew that in. I'm simply going to take my knife, score it, get that detail to pop, then taking a ballpoint pen and running it through the grooves I just made. See? Like this. Then I got this uh, puncher. I'm gonna use, but on second thought, well, not everybody has that. Use one of those pins, you can use them perfectly as well. And we're simply gonna make two puncture marks. As the outlet. I don't know if you can see. We have that uh, great thing here. We're gonna do the same thing with our cut it yet these are details we drew in some time ago we are now giving them their rights to pop to pop out stick to the pin works better See? now the RV also has lights here and we're going to be using uh, some more beads to simulate to simulate those again I'm using my uh, rounded shiny things I used for uh, my headlights and taillights and I'm going to be gluing them on the back top corner like this do this on both sides guys both sides put a dab of white glue down get your disc shiny discs I think I'm gonna just simply call them and voila stick it down see there's nothing to it very nice now what now one thing remains and that is this is actually uh, a grid so I'm taking my knife and I'm simply gonna score the cardstock rather deep grooves be careful I don't know. Well, I've scored grooves in here. It's not that great. Now, um, as for this exterior, I am quite happy with it. A lot of detail. Like there are some spaces in between here. Um, simply gonna fill that up with some white glue. Just put a good amount on there and. Basically, just use your finger to smoothen it out. If you have some of these spaces, it's quite easy. Just use the hot, uh, use the white glue to mask it, and also it will give it some extra strength. So it, there's never any harm in that. <laughs> Do this again for the other side as well. White glue. 
simply run your finger across it. If you don't like getting messy with the white glue, which I would understand, just use a piece of cardstock to uh, smear it. You can use that too. Simply using my finger because it's easier. simply have a look at your RV where there are spots like this sticking in it out put some white glue down and fill it up actually gonna do this same with the front window here put a good amount on there Use this as a filler, guys. <laughs> okay, when that is done, just set your RV to dry. <coughs> and when that is done, <coughs> excuse me, and when that is done, next thing we're gonna do is make our roof. Next, what you do for the roof is you make yourself a rectangle that is five centimeters by 17 centimeters or maybe less just make sure it fits in here see that's the important thing then we're gonna grab ourselves some more cardstock okay and we're gonna be measuring out our roof now you can do this with a ruler I'm just gonna freehand it and hope I don't regret it. Well, freehand it my way, just set it on here. And I really hope I'm not gonna regret doing it this way. But we'll see. <laughs> this isn't working the way I want to, but never mind. Okay, so it didn't work the way I wanted to, but what we're going to do is we're going to measure a rectangle that is 6 centimeters by, let me see, thinking 17 and a half. Yeah, that is 6 centimeters by 17 and a half. that out now fit it on the roof it fits nicely on there see now we've cut out this we're gonna be gluing that to the back here it will be something to give a little bit more weight to the roof if you want to you can even glue a washer on there <coughs> to give it that little bit more extra weight but I'm not gonna do that I'm simply smearing this white glue to the side and making sure I put this where I have space on the sides, enough space that it will fall nicely into my RV. And you can take it off. Put it in. See? So it simply slides in there. Okay. So I'm gonna be having a look at what's on top of the RV and we're simply gonna be gluing that on this. Now I have this wooden bead here, it is with a 
yeah it's a rounded wooded bead with lines in here as you can see uh, it's an off cut of something this thing i'm going to be gluing first look again what the front side is of the rv very important let's put the roof simply on there while we put the details on it's the other way around And we're going to be gluing that to the left front of our RV. Again, you can use hot glue, you can use white glue, you can use whatever you guys prefer. And yeah, just simply glue that on there and let that dry. <coughs> I really like how our RV is shaping up. Right, and then there are a few more things, some uh, ventilation shaft in the center, so I'm simply going to cut a rectangle, eyeball it. Which I will be gluing here. White glue. Simply glue it here. center mark and then there are two uh, three more smaller ones uh, two more actually and one big part right here Sticking them down. Like this. We get the shape of our roof. And here he has this kind of pipe thing. So I'm simply going to take another <coughs> drinking straw. It was a little bigger, so I'm guesstimating. And we're simply gonna glue that on here. There we go. And here is the air conditioning unit. So yeah, I'm simply gonna simulate that with another rectangle. But it is actually higher than the other parts that are there, so I'm simply going to glue two rectangles on top of each other. And stick that down on our RV. Voila! And this is what our RV looks like now there's one more thing that needs to be done but I'm gonna do that in uh, the other video and that's the ladder and the, the rails but as for now I am quite happy with this so if you guys are interested to see how we are gonna finish oh, yeah that's what happens if you try to show this while the glue is not dried yet we go so if you guys want to see <coughs> our finished part of the RV just stay tuned and we'll be back with part 2 of Dale's RV on which we will build the ladder and the rail fence let me grab quickly grab Dale himself and put him on top of his RV okay. for scale I think it's rather nice. There we go. Dale and his RV. Thank you for, gotcha, for watching, guys. This was Kenneth Alretian. Um, 
I hope to see you in part two of Dale's RV. See you next time and thank you for watching. Take care guys. Bye now.